In 1796, my forefathers established this seat after the tenants of the old Shire Charter. Shire Charter? Excuse me, sir, that's pre-magna carta. I mean, serfdom and fiefdom stuff. Very good, young lady. Ahem. Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode 444. 444. Of Nick the Rat Radio. Uh, oh. It is July the 3rd. It's almost July 4th. And for this lovely day, we not only have a whole bunch of fireworks, etc., etc., to explode down in the sewer. Um, I'm going to court. Yeah, um, I don't even know why I'm going to court. Uh, I didn't know, it was his night court. I, I need some, is there a night court sound effect I could get over here somewhere? Um, the scientist in the sewer basically pointed a gun at me. And they said, you're going, or we're going to take away all of your uh, stuff. So I was like, all right, sure, let's do this. And um, we're going to... Are you going to go to court tonight? Apparently I've been a, a real bad rat. I don't know what I did exactly, but we're going to maybe find out. Like, I don't even have uh, the court order, the court... I don't have a lawyer. I don't know what's going on. Um, there won't be any flowers. So I don't know. I don't know. Is, is getting... Is going to court fun? Is this like a fun... Th Can I drink at court? Well, I better drink now. It's going to be... It's, the location is like an undisclosed location. It's a long car ride away. We're going to be doing all this tonight, though. It's going to be a little fun adventure. Um, so sit back and shut up, right? Let's open a beer. I got a, I got a Budweiser Brewski to celebrate Germany. Courts are cool, you know. The courthouse is nice and big. It's usually made of marble. Is like all the marble in the world. Is that like go to like federal buildings and courthouses and all that shit? Is that, is that what they do? Like, oh, you got marble. It's got to go straight to the government. I'm sure there's marble in all sorts of establishments other than government places. Uh, Yeah. I wonder what's going to happen. Can you got you can, you can put the gun down, okay? I'm fucking going, okay? We're going to leave soon, okay? After the after we take a musical break, I'll get in the car, take me wherever I got to go, okay? A lot of stuff going on in the news tonight, too. A lot of stuff happening around the world in the news in my pants. Uh we got uh we had the the first debate for the presidency of fucking clown world USA. Um, everything's it's very hard to take life seriously, your job or life or expenses or going to court or it's really hard to take any of it seriously when when you you just you you just you wake up in the morning when you wake up in the morning. And you experience what's happening. Shit gets a little bit weird. It's a little bit crazy out there. Um, is anybody into to Bitcoin? It's because I th I think uh, Bitcoin's about to go down a lot. Uh, we used to think that. Well, actually, what 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 actually. Is Bitcoin still getting... Is there still going to be a Fed coin? Is the Fed coin still happening? Fed... Actually, Fed coin will definitely still happen in this situation that has occurred. Uh, let's see. Fed coin. Crypto-friendly Silvergate bank pays... Six, that's not... Uh, it's not Fed coin. Fed rate. Okay. Well, the thing about the Bitcoin is that the government is going to start to uh, to tax it. I know it's already been taxable. But any, uh, they're going to start to put, like, capital gains taxes on it. Um, so, yeah. Your crypto coin was 
a scam that made a couple nerds rich. Took 10 years. Um, and now, yeah, we're going to see what, ha we're going to see what happens. New IRS rules reshape crypto tax landscape. Yeah. Crypto investors in the U.S. will soon face a slew of new tax reporting requirements related to digital assets as the government accelerates its attempt to rein in unscrupulous actors and prevent tax dodgers in the crypto space for gaining foothold. So there you it's um yeah, Mount Cox, they're Mount Cox are just uh they're starting to pay out people, right? They got hacked a long time ago. Man, I really I how is their day one? Mount Cox. I'll say Mount Cox all day for you. Um, I was there. I, I, I was I was playing Quake 2 when I heard about Bitcoin. And I, I told my family. And while I was telling them, it didn't make sense to me. And they looked at me weird. And damn it, I should have started mining them then. But I'm, you, we all missed that. It's, if you're here, if you're listening to this show... You already missed that boat. I don't think there's any uh, Bitcoin billionaires listening to me. So, um, yeah, I hope it all goes down in flames because I don't have any of it. I'm just sour. There's so many, there's so many things that happen, and if if you're not there at the right time at the right place, you just miss the train, and it really is. It's very. It seems like life isn't about how hard you work. It's just about how lucky you are. And hard work, okay, I'm not, I'm not saying hard work doesn't um, amount, can amount to anything. I'm not saying to become a, a lazy, um, a lazy bones. What I'm trying to say is that uh, when, when the hawk tui comes, you know, you, you fucking, you pray, you pray, you ride that spit. Okay, put the gun down. Okay, we're good. Let's put on a quick uh, musical song here. Uh, all the music you hear tonight is going to be on SoundCloud. It's all CC BY 3.0. Um, it's all, you know, pretty good. All right? And um, everything's going to be all right, I think. I hope. I hope it's going to be all right. You know, it's it's going to be all right. We're alive. We're drinking beer. We're going to smoke some weed in the car going on this car ride to go to court. I'm going to be stoned at court. Who knows what's going to happen? Let's listen to Ultimate NCM with Silence Speaketh. <laughs> did I have to shave my crotch for this? Because I did. All right, put the gun down.
everybody. All right. Well, in the back seat of the uh, the Ratmobile. It's fucking bu bumpy. Luckily, I do have some weed with me. Let's take a little quick blow some weed at this car. Driver, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna hot box this. Damn, that's good. There was a interesting story about uh, how I'm opening the phone lines. <laughs> let's let's open the phone lines and take a quick quick look see. Why did you hang up on me, Nick? I wasn't done with my voicemail. I have make a voicemail nine of six. I make a motion to increase the voicemail time limit to 40 hours. Because I've been doing methamphetamine for 17 hours and 96 minutes, and this is Kevbot. <laughs> yes, uh, the Kevbot. Kevin. Kevbot. So, uh, uh, what I was saying, I was, I, was <laughs> I was playing the harmonica at the Renaissance Festival. And previously I had run into these two fellows. And I had asked one of the fellows about his guitar, if he could play the blues with it. To which uh, his, the other fellow responded, Oh, we're about to go on stage. We can't play right now. I said, sir, sir, I did with the mask guy. I'm asking you to play right now. I'm sorry you've mistaken. I'm sorry, I'm sorry you've mistaken. I'm sorry you've mistaken. I can't remember. The point. The point. This is what I want to tell you. So I asked. I met those two fellows later when they were exiting the Renaissance Festival and I was just outside just playing the, the harmony. <laughs> Shit. Cops are on my ass. You called the cops on me, motherfucker. It's one of those days where everything's a fucking cop. Maybe it's because I'm Kev Bot. And I've been smoking methamphetamines for 17 hours and 97 minutes straight. One of my lungs is totally collapsed. <laughs> so anyways, I ran to those two fellas once more. And the one fellow I, who had the guitar, he heard me playing. He, and he, uh, I wonder how I Kev Bot's doing. And my, uh, recognition of... Uh, Skill came over his face and he pulled out his guitar and he started to play. Now the man uh, who had misunderstood me before, his companion, pulled out a harmonica and uh, I was like, oh yes, finally someone to play a harmonica with. Just, you know, to just like, you know, it'd be call and response, but what happened? Trying to get on the same stuff, so I started doing something, but I started going, I started going simple. I was like, it's real simple, and just to see what he would do. And you know what the fucking little dipshit did, man? He started just uh, playing a song he had remembered. It sounded good, but it was like, what, like, what the fuck? And uh, <laughs> while he was playing it, he was trying to impress me, and I wasn't impressed at all because you know it's just, this is, there's no passion. In it. And uh, a lady walked by, and I said, to him, "Excuse me, miss, I wasn't too corny, was it?" And uh, and then I turned to him and I said, I'm sorry, sir, I have my own stuff. Thank goodness that uh, voicemail ended there. Um, can I shoot a firework out of the side of this car? I guess so. Ugh. Hope I don't get arrested on the way to court. That's so not that hawk, the hawk Tui girl. I was on, um, I was on the, uh, no agenda, no authority social. And I, I saw, I saw the meme. I saw the meme for it like two weeks ago. I had no idea what it was. And, uh, I did not look into it. I did not look into the hawk Tui girl meme when I first saw it. I just saw a girl spitting and I was like wondering what, what, what this was okay and um she is she's riding that wave now she's trying to make as she's trying to squeeze as much hawk tui out of this whole thing as possible basically uh, uh 
If you don't know who it is, somebody on the street, man on the street asked this woman, what's the craziest sexual thing you could do? And she's like, hock too, you spit on that thing. And basically she pulled a fucking, did I do that? Or cowabunga, um, eat my shorts. She said something that made everybody go, huh, huh. And she, you know, she, she fucking grabbed that shit by the horn. She's like, you know, I'm, I'm going to have hats and shirts. I'm selling this. I'm going to be on TV. Fuck. We, I bet you Chocolate Rain guy is still going around making money off of Chocolate Rain. She probably, she'd probably be on, like, cruise ships. People are like, oh, who are you? She'd be like, oh, I'm Hawk Tooie. And I'm like, oh, shit. I told my kids about you. Uh, you know. Um, I, I have no hate for her. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty funny. She seems like she was having a good time. She, I'm not buying no goddamn shirt. She had a funny hat. She had a, uh, the hat says Hawk 20, like 2024 spin on that thing. Like a hat, like a presidential hat. Basically, that's, um, it's America, baby. It's, it's America. So, so there's an interesting article here. You, you ever see um, videos where uh, there's kids in it? <coughs> you know, kids equal hits on the on the tubes, on the use on the use use tubies, and ah, uh, <coughs> uh, so sorry. It's just that they're you gotta get really drunk before you go to to court so I'm just trying to down as much of this, this Budweiser as I can before I have to see this judge uh, this article starts on, this on New York Post of all places it's a different kind of pocket money in Illinois is a new amendment to the child labor laws state child labor laws state thingamajig went to effect July 1st that requires children who appear in their parents social media profile to be paid for appearances The bill specifies the st uh, states that uh, children under the age of 16 should receive 15% of the influencer's gross earnings if they appear in at least 30% of the monetized stuff. And on the line, we have a doctor to talk about this. Hello, doctor. What is your opinion on all of this? Hey. Hey, Nick. Hello. <laughs> Do we, do we have a bad connection? You sound really bad. I'm oh? in a car. I'm going to see uh, the judge. But you hear me okay, yeah? No? Well, there's... The road's a little bumpy and I hear wind and stuff and... Like, th this is pretty w pretty wild, actually. Like, it's... Uh, I've never... I've never heard you this way before, Nick. What do you mean? I mean, it, it's very staticky, but it's all good. We'll, we'll we'll play through it. Hey, if you go to court drunk and you're too drunk to walk, yeah, request a wheelchair. A wheelchair. <laughs> yes. Say I'm having trouble standing. I need I need a wheelchair, and they'll have to provide it. Really? Even if you're fucking shit faced, drunk, trash. Do you have an attorney? Uh, no. They said I should just go have... there. I asked if I should bring anything. They said no. I was like, pants? They were like, no. Oh. Oh, in that case, yeah. Uh, uh, play it up. Um, play yourself up. <laughs> yeah, you, you should definitely have an attorney if you're going to court. Because uh, they don't take too kindly to the sewers. It's can't, it can't it can't be too serious. Like this is, has to be just like a a misunderstanding. A plead no low. No low. No contest. No low. Yeah. No no contest. Essentially, like I'm not saying I'm guilty. I'm not saying I'm innocent. But yeah, don't don't not fuck up anything. again because what's that? I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything. Can I just go and not say anything? 
even better, but you don't have an attorney, so that's hard to do because they'll be like asking you questions and you'll be like, uh, what if you, what if you play, uh, what if you play, was it stupid or deaf or dumb or dumb, dumb, deaf, dumb. dumb. Um, Are those bad words today? Can I say those? I'm sorry. Uh, illiterate. Illiterate. Like if, if somebody goes, if they are arrested and they don't say anything, as you know, you have the, the right to free, not speech. So if you don't say anything, then they can't, what they, I guess they could lock you up. Bro, I hope this is not in the recording, but you're like staticky as fuck. What are you on I, my end? Are you serious? Like it's crazy. I mean, it's great for considering we're in the sewer. It's like an excellent connection, but maybe it's because I had the Bluetooth on and I turned it off, and I'm on two devices, and I I don't fucking know. I'm not. No, well, you hey, know, I'm not fuck. hearing anything. I think I sound pretty good. I think you always sound excellent, Nick. I love you. Oh, well, that's thank you. Um, yeah. What, yeah, there's what, no static on the what, screen. Are it's you just wearing it's, pants? maybe maybe it's the car I'm in, and it's. Uh, what am I wearing? I got a. No, it doesn't sound like a car. Um, what are you? What are you wearing, Nick? I got a white button-up shirt, uh, and a yellow cap on. That is perfect for court. I, Cause, cause I waxed you my tail. Serious, like I've seen bitches show up to court wearing like, uh, what do you call those skin suit type uh, bullshit? The whole spandex, like stretchy, uh, fitted suit, and you're just like, really? Bitch? Do you like that stuff? Or, do you, do you like? Are you into latex cat suits, caller? I mean, it depends on the it depends on the specimen wearing it. This this is true. I like I never really I never really understood what that whole thing was about, and and I was trying to get into it, you know, because I heard so much about it. So I was watching some videos, and the sounds that the latex makes, I'm start I'm starting to hear I'm starting to hear stuff like like I'm getting ASMR boners from from a I might turn into a latex ratty. Like. I really hope this is recording exactly how I hear it because you're like <laughs> very staticky on every single word. What? It's amazing. I don't really dude. No, I sound beautiful. I'm great. I sound really good. No, no, I trust I trust I believe you, but I'm I'm really really hoping just for the sheer aesthetic or ear aesthetic, the audible quality of this call it's like the the sewer static evolution is like immaculate in my ear can you and i hope that can the you case. can you record what? it and send it to me oh god i don't have that preset i would have to preset it on this device preset to it record it, or document uh, that okay. and i don't think i'd be able to do it okay. but it's like every every noise is made has like I can hear you yeah, I'm, in a, I'm in a car caller caller I'm in a car hey guess what what I'm in a car what I'm in total nudity right now where are you caller I'm like standing in the master bedroom with my ass facing the master bathroom while I'm holding a phone looking down the stairs. Are you going to master blaster that thing? It might be bad reception on mine. Let me call you back. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, no problem. All right. I love you. Call me. Call me. Hey, Nick, can you call me? Call me, doo-doo. I can hang up on you. Uh, hi, everybody. I will not be calling him back. He will call me back. H hello, hello, caller. Is this any better? Oh, Nick! Hi. Oh my God! Nick, you sound amazing! I sound amazing? This is like the best I've heard you 
talk to me all night. <laughs> yes, that and everything. I fucking love fireworks. Do you love dogs, Nick? I, uh, not as much as uh, uh, Robert F. Kennedy does. So, so my opinion on dogs and doctors. I prefer doctors to dogs. I prefer doctors. They both start with a D. So, dogs apparently hate fireworks. Yeah, they do. My neighbors have dogs. Yeah. A lot of my neighbors have dogs. Large areas around me have dogs. Fireworks are cheap as fuck. And they're completely legal in my state. Most of them. Yeah. So I will spontaneously and sometimes during the middle of a fucking day or late in the evening, not at night, because there's a certain cutoff period, but you just wanna throw out a, a, a round of, uh, I don't know, a couple dozen uh, black cats, those pop, 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 pop. <laughs> like that? that? That was beautiful, yes. You just want to spontaneously throw those out about dinner time, so they're all relaxing and, and trying to do their thing, and then you fucking freak their dog out. Or when they put their dog out to shit in their backyard, and you're like, I don't know, whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not encouraging or, or condoning or soliciting that you harass your neighbor's dog, but it's your goddamn right to light off fireworks, so you might as fucking well. Well, this, this is bad advice. Is that Taylor Swift? You, what's your problem with dogs? You don't like dogs? I love dogs. Did you did you see that RFK thing where he, where he, uh, they, they said he was eating dog? There is nothing like it in your world, in your life, to wake up and kick a dog every day. Best part of waking like it up is to fucking kicking your dog. Have you kicked your dog today? I think that was a Garfield comic, actually. He kicked Odie. Oh, are Do you we, remember we don't, Odie? We, we don't condone from Garfield. No, we don't condone animal abuse yeah. on this show. No, no, absolutely not. We no, we don't condone animal cruelty like that. That's that's horrible. Lonely threat. This is Wuklamat. I am what the bad I am the bad promise. I am so happy to talk to you, Mr. Rex. Yeah, I just want to say I love your show. And I hope you don't go to prison for too so long. I am what the bad I am fucking kitty cat crazy. Walk like that? Uh, let's take a quick music break. Coming up to a. A tunnel, anyway, so I'm gonna probably get cut off. I don't know how this uh, satellite connection is gonna hold up over here. Uh, let's listen. To, this is by NCMFYT Tunnel of Love! Earth.
voicemail 10 of 50. You know, I wouldn't have to leave all these voicemails there if the voicemail link was increased to 40 hours. Three minutes and 12 seconds isn't long enough for a rambling person. My name is Kevbot, who's been smoking methamphetamines now for 17 hours and 111 minutes. And don't forget, my name is, in fact, Kevin. Kevbot. Ooh, we. Ooh, we. You know what I just saw? <laughs> Yeah, so after I told that guy, I was like, so I have my own style. And his friend laughed at him. He didn't like it. And, uh, and then uh, he said something. He said, uh, something. I can't remember. But as the imparting to try, to, to try to get one little last jab into me, he says, oh, I'm just more, re uh, uh, I'm just more active. Like he had been, you know, been playing in bands, whatever. This is gossip, man. I'm, just, I'm such a gossip. I used to know gossip. But, uh, so he tried to get that last jab in, and I said, "Sir, you're not more active, sir. You're just more repetitive." Hello, Hello caller. Well, hi. That's I, found, somebody left me a whole bunch found, of voicemails on on methamphetamines, and you sound exasperated. It's, I'm I am exasperated. It, I'm I'm at court. I'm in I'm in front of this place. This does not like a does not look like a courthouse. It does, what does it look like? It looks like um like during World War Two there used to be places where they would build ships in the harbor in in Brooklyn and it looks like one of those places that are all run down. There's like a dry dock? Yeah. Yeah, it's very dry when I try to dock in here. It's, um... Yeah, what the f... There's one light. I guess I could go check this out, but uh, I'll, I'll go over there later. Anyway, how are you doing, Nightcaller? How are you doing? At least you got service there. Yeah. Am I all staticky? The last caller said I was all staticky. You sound clear, crystal clear. Oh, nice. Dr. Disrespect? But Do you know who Dr. Disrespect is? I think, uh, it's an insult comic, possibly. He's a hand puppet? <laughs> yeah. A little hand puppet, like a doctor. Uh, like, no, yeah. somebody, somebody, that's, that's not who he is, but somebody He's in the like, chat room yeah. was asking about him. He, the doctor's like, ah, you got AIDS. Ah. That's the worst kind of doctor. Well, he's an insult doctor. I mean, that's insulting. Insulting, you know. Insulting. I went to a doctor and he was like, ah, bend over. I don't know. I'd, I'd probably leave. Isn't that most of them, though? Ar. Ar. Your cholesterol's too yeah, high. Ar. I got fingers. Let me check out. Why don't, um, uh, why aren't, why is, uh, every doctor appointment and surgery, why, why are these not being, uh, filmed and recorded? For, like, prostate, prostate arity? Prostate arity, uh, yeah, for, for your own archives, for your own, um. Yeah, just so you can review it. Yeah, like, because if, say... Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a person and I go to a, a doctor and say they put me under. Why is there no video of when I was on, like, why can't I watch what was done to me? Uh. I, I, I know why they don't stuff. allow it. It's because of lawsuits. They don't want to have oh, any. I, I was going to, I was going to say butt stuff, but. Well, that's the other, that's the real reason. The butt stuff is the real reason, but the, the official reason, I think, is because if they fuck up, they don't want there to be any evidence. Yeah, exactly. You know. How did what my watch if you die, if get you die in your in those, What if you die in one of those operating rooms that have the observatory above it? 
and everybody sees that you fucked up, are they exactly. going to release that or? Why aren't there um, public bathrooms or public showers? Well, I mean, I guess technically there is, maybe ish. Is a bathroom inside of a uh, establishment that you can use if you uh, purchase something there? Is that a public bathroom? No, I said like a public park bathroom or something. But Not there's, really. There's... Yeah. I mean, if you go to a park, if you go to a uh, either a state park or a national park, there's bathrooms and potentially showers that you use. Are those free? No, probably not, because you've got to pay and have a reservation there to use them. There should be, um, there should be places Maybe. where you could just, like, you know, shower and... Hose them, hose yeah, themselves off. Get hosed off. Sometimes you need to get hose hose off, Jason. Yeah. And, and the reason that they don't let you do this is because, uh, because kids... Kids are always ruining the fun. They're like, oh, a kid can't see a naked adult getting hosed down in the middle of the street. Well, they just need a, a tarp or a, uh, a screen of some sort. I suppose. But if you build a wall, then they're just going to do heroin in there. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. So, yeah. So maybe you need like a uh, power wash. Power wash, or uh, maybe just like come, a like a strip, somebody, like just a waist somebody, high wall. Somebody comes by in a truck, got a power washer in the back. And they just spray down the homeless. Uh, That'd they be can get cool. the the shower or the washing that they need, whether sitting or sleeping, wherever they're at. You can just hold them down. I'm just spitballing here as far as uh, entrepreneurial ideas. I like it. I mean, I mean, we got to come up with something because Bitcoin's doing, you know, gonna screw us all. Meh. Sure, I'm sure the people that already have all the bitcoins will stay rich. Money. Do you have all the? Do you have all the Bitcoin? Uh, no, I don't have no fucking. I got a lot of Satoshi's. I got Bitcoin yeah. shavings. I got like Bitcoin toenails. Clipping. Yeah, I got Bit Bitcoin pubic hair that fell off in somebody else's <laughs> bathroom. You make it, make a uh, do out of it. Cubes do. You have any Bitcoin? I do. Is Bitcoin and Ethereum the same stuff? Um. Or is it like a different not, code? Not, not really, because I think Ethereum is basically based off of Bitcoin. It's based off know. it, but is it like is is Ethereum and Bitcoins? prices tied together. I mean, Ethereum seems like a scam based off of Bitcoin to me. <laughs> but Bitcoin doesn't seem like a scam. Um. <laughs> no, I mean, it, well, <laughs> that's another debate. I mean, but Ethereum is definitely a Bitcoin scam based off of Bitcoin. Ethereum is calculations and contracts. Huh. Uh, with the... Um, it's uh, the only reason why I think Bitcoin is scammy is because everybody's like, oh, yeah, it gets you away from fiat. And then it's like, okay, but guess what? It's worth fiat. And that's why you want it. It's like, it's, yeah, yeah. It's like well, it then. Seems to be, well, a little bit tied to fiat, but maybe not. Yeah. Well, everybody wants a Bitcoin because it's worth like $30,000. But it, I mean, do you have they Ethereum? <laughs> what? Do you have Ethereum? No, I I have some Satoshis. Okay. Which um, I, I don't even know how to cash them out. <laughs> I've, I've locked up Satoshi somewhere. 
magical Satoshis. I'd like to think I have, a, like I, have a, I have a good karma rating. I would say I have, I have pretty good karma. You don't have like an account you could offload them to? The karma? No. I was, uh, it, uh, I, I bought an 18 pack of Budweiser's today. And I was walking down the street That's with sweet. a giant box of uh, Budweiser cans. And some old guy was like, Oh my god! I, I love Budweiser. And, uh, and I was like, and he was like, can I have <laughs> one? And why? I was like, at first I was like, no, you can't have any of my beer. But then I was like, you know what? It's 4th of July and you're old. So I, I cracked I cracked one out and I gave it to him. So I'd like to think that uh, I'm rich right now. I'd like to think karma. that I'm rich because of got, my karma. You got karma. Yeah. You got some uh, hand out beer karma. That's yeah. Definitely Maybe one day somebody will hand me a beer. Some, uh, I'd hand you a beer right now if I saw you. That's great. It's going to be a uh, psychedelic cat crash, but can you handle that? Yeah, I smoke it all the time. No, it's not, it's not grass. It's a beer. I'll smoke you the beer. Psychedelic cat grass beer. Unless you want a pull of the rare breed. Have, have you ever been to court? I've been to court many a time. More times than I care to admit. So, uh, you got any tips for me? Like, what? Should I, like, wink at the judge or something? Dep depends, depends on what you're going for, dude. I don't know. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know where I am. I'm scared. I mean, if it's, uh, is it business related? I could, it might be. I, I don't know. I, I, th I don't handle anything here. I just work. And those they, are the scariest ones. If you have an LLC, just declare bankruptcy and say, fuck you. Bye bye. And then just tear up the LLC. No. Yep. Oh, that's actually a good idea because everybody's like, "Oh, you could just go, you could claim bankruptcy," but but that fucks up your credit. But if you open up an LLC, no, which is only like a hundred bucks, the LLC's credit is fucked up. Yeah, but who cares about that? That's just that's just like a, yeah, a, a exactly. name. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. All right, I gotta open my LLC after I get before I get sued. Nicola D. Rat LLC. Yeah, make the right radio. I don't know if the people in the dark sewer network will be happy with that. They, I don't know if I could. No, take... you gotta. Well, you gotta have it set up before you get, go to court, though. Like oh, set up as a. Uh, yeah. Well, hopefully this. Maybe this is for something else. Maybe this is for like clogging a toilet at a Korean restaurant one day, five years ago. I have a white moth that's flattened out. Uh, object next to me. It's perfectly flattened out. In a geometric shape. Is it dead? No, it's still alive. I think it's stunned by the light in here while I'm smoking a cigar. You ever see, um... Do, do you ever touch bugs? Are you a bug toucher? Uh, bugs have touched me in the head multiple times tonight. Uh, a some flat of them moth. Have been moth. Uh, a couple of them have been lightning bugs. Well, I mean, like, which, 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 if if you were to put a bug in your hand, which which uh, do, does that? Do you put bugs in your hand? Uh, if it's bugs that I like, yeah. Which bugs do you like? A lightning bug. I, a lightning bug. I mean, I put that in my hand, hold on to it, let it go, you know. But uh, how about how about ants? Do you do you care if there's like a little ant on your hand? Uh, no, I'm not into ants because they they are a sign of something else. Ants are a I sign of something else. The, well, I mean, if you're out in the wild and an ant touches you, that's fine. But if you're in your home, 
and an ant comes in is on your arm or leg, uh, you want to lay some poison down just so they're not in your house creating destruction. You gotta set one on fire and let his friends find him. If you do like a borax solution with uh, sugar, you can look it up online. Uh, you can make a solution with borax that they take back to their colony and it kills them all. Uh, you set it out if you have ants in your domicile. Where Why are ants live. so fucking stupid? Like, oh, we found a nuclear I, bomb. Let's bring I, it home I, and eat it. I don't think they're. I don't think they're stupid. It's just something that like appeals to them that they don't don't know that it's going to kill them. Kind of like uh, a vaccine or something like that. These stupid, stupid ants. Um, you ever see uh? How about ladybugs? Do you, do you, would you hold a ladybug on your hand? Yeah, but you got to be careful because if it's a European one that's invaded our country, uh, it bites. It it doesn't doesn't leave a stinger bite, but they bite on your skin. A European uh, ladybug? Just, just just like pinches, which is I think they were introduced as uh, an aphid kind of control amongst uh, people growing vegetables that were or flowers that were prone to aphids. But what's, what, what's the way? Also. What's... Also, a thing called marijuana is prone to aphids. Okay, so an Asian ladybug has an M-shaped white patch. Or Asian, Asian ladybug. They're a little bit, like, I think they, they're like, uh, they're not as red as an uh, indigenous ladybug to this country. They're yeah. a little bit, like, orange-colored. Yeah, I'm looking at a, uh, yeah, I'm looking at a thing right here. Now, the weird thing about ladybugs, have you ever seen a ladybug pupa? Pu pupa? Pupa? Pupi? No, pu no, I have not. They look like demons. No, I, I... They're demonic-looking bugs that are very, very scary. They, uh... I've seen them, like, mate in the wild before. Really? Like a, a lump of ladybugs mating <laughs> upon each other. I'm going to post a picture of uh, a ladybug larva in the chat over here. They're they're so evil looking. I saw one. I thought, I thought a hole in hell opened up and um, these creatures were coming out. But it turned out they were just ladybugs. Oh, that's not too bad. They got spikes and they got the... They're evil looking. Yeah, it's like a Helgramite. A Helgramite? What the fuck's a Helgramite? Well, Google it. Oh my god, that's disgusting. It's in streams and shit. Ew. It's in streams here. A Helgram it looks like probably, it looks like it's made of garbage. It's in streams throughout they're in streams throughout New York too, I would believe. I don't think I've ever seen a, a Helgramite. Helgramite is a uh yeah, somebody's saying it in the chat. Uh, it's a dragon fight larva. Oh. Uh, your might. Trey from, Trey from Philly. Trey from Philly knows. He's a bugologist. And Helger might will, will latch onto you if you're in a stream. It looks They're fucking kinda, evil. It, but they also catch a lot of fish. I'm just going to say. You got Helgramite oh. larvae or something that imitates it. It will catch a lot of fish in the stream. Smallmouth. That's what, uh, yeah. Trey knows. But fucking Trey's like a smallmouth fisherman. I told you. He's a, he's, he's a professional. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Helgramite fishing. I'm going to fish, fish, try and fish this weekend. I have my... Kayak ready to go. Are you going to use Helgramite? Uh, maybe. Because I'm going to fish in the stream system that's, uh, got a floodplain. I don't think I'd ever, I'd be able uh -huh. to put the Helgramite onto a hook to go fish. I just like, ugh, I don't want to touch it. Uh, 
you know what? That's where rubber gloves helps you a lot. I guess. I found that out over the years to carry rubber gloves while you're fishing because I can't touch a leech. Uh, put a rubber gloves on, fuck them. I'm going to put it on the hook and I'm good to go. But leeches catch fish. Ew. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because you catch bass and uh, especially bass and waters that have a lot of leeches in them and you look at their mouth and there's a lot of leeches that might be attached inside their mouth nature because you they crazy try to eat them and they attach inside their mouth and if you pick them off and throw them and then throw them back it's always good for the fish that's gross ah whoa you're it's midnight cl- in the sewer you're kind of cleaning the, you're kind of cleaning the mouth of the fish from these parasites that are trying to uh, live off of them. Nature is disgusting. Yeah. You have a stick up, stick some bugs in your mouth to eat some parasites. Yeah. Why don't they just brush their teeth and get some oral hygiene in the oceans? Who cares about climate change? I don't know if they do that. They might. Uh, I don't know. Fish probably don't suffer from tooth decay just because of the amount of water that's flushing through their teeth all the time. Well, that's salt water. And they're trying to eat stuff. <sighs> but they definitely have teeth. I mean, like, especially like a pike or a walleye or something. They have some nasty teeth that'll cut the fuck out of your hand. Like l- razors. I mean, worse than razors. It's like a thousand little tiny razors cutting you. But bass have a more mellow, like, uh, tooth. So that's why you can lift them. Do you think it's okay if I set off a whole bunch of fireworks in this uh, parking lot of the court? Probably. I mean, the court will be excited. It is a uh, Fourth of July. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on. Let me set these off here. It's... By the way, it is the Fourth of July because midnight in the sewer. Wow, what an exciting firework display I'm putting off over here. Did you hear me? What? Alright, okay, well, hey, hey, caller? It's midnight in the sewer. Yeah, it's, it's the 4th of July. We have to celebrate our independence. Fourth of July. Uh, but I'm going to take a quick musical break now, caller, and uh, I will uh, uh, hang up on you. Wait, what? Get some every time. Let's take a quick music break. We'll be right back, and we'll be, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll go into to court. Fuck. Ultimate NCM with Decibel Drive.
force is strong within you. May the force be with you. Welcome back. Before I go into this place, uh, I, I think a couple people. Uh, we have a. <laughs> brought it with me. Hold on a second. I didn't bring any notes for court. I don't even know why I'm here. But I got uh, these these uh, PO box letters. Somebody sent me here. We got a PO box nine zero five four nine. That is nine zero five four nine. Brooklyn, New York, one one two zero nine. Let's see what we got. Sixty-nine complete share of sewer stock, a dollar sixty-nine. Thank you so much. Who is this from? Uh, who would send me a check for a dollar sixty-nine? Let me see here. <gasps> Sir Michael Rachevich. Thank you so much. Looks like we have another uh, letter here. Are these things coming like quicker and quicker? Like, what's going on? Sixty-nine complete shares of sewer stocks. A dollar sixty-nine. Wow, I got almost three bucks out of them this week. Doctor Summercrotch, thank you so much. Uh, also, there is a PO box that I already talked about, and then there is a, um, a donation on the website page. You go there, you click on uh, donate, and you use PayPal, PayPal, and you can donate through there. Let's see if I got any PayPal donations. Do 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 do. It does look like, it looks like we got something here. We got something in the papal.
we have four dollars and twenty cents from KS. Oh yeah, if you donate to Pay Papal, I say your initials, your donation amount, and your name. Uh, if there's any note, I'll read that as well. The, there was no note here. I think this is a monthly subscription. Thank you so much for the 420 there, KS. You are amazing. Love you. Mwah. All right, let's see if has anybody else donated. KS, we got uh, DV. DV with 420. Thank you so much, DV. You've been around for a long time as well. No, no, uh, no thing of Um uh, Yeah. Oh, wait, did I read these last week? I think I read these last. These were from last week. All right, yeah, we, we got none this week. And finally, there's. Not finally. There's Satoshis you could send by uh, via the Lightning Network on the RSS 2.0 2 situation, situational thingamajig. Well, it looked like I got a whole bunch of Satoshis this week because, um, I think because of Lavish and Booberry. Well, let's let's go through this. We got Lavish with 1,980 or 3,033, 33, 33, 33, 33 sats. Oh, fuck yeah. We got 2,000 sats. Congratulations, all artist crew, demo DJs and MCs, developers and podcasters. Rock on, smoke on, protocols, not platforms. And that came from Sir Cuss Media. This one comes from Col Colomona, Sir Libre, 1,900 sats. Thank you for all of the hard work you have done putting this show together, as well as all the work you do in Demu. Um, what is a Demu? Demu. D-E-M-U. -E what is what it? What, it, what does that stand for? Somebody knows. Somebody in the chat knows what that. Let me know. Uh, we got for another one from Circus Media, 1056. Sats Boost, baby. Um, so we got a 1,200 from NetNet. I'd take this band fishing anytime. How come I got these? I'm, I'm very confused. I know that uh, I helped out Lavish and Booberry with something with some puppets for their, their show after, and uh, I don't know why I got all these sats sent to me. Let's see, Booberry with 1,055 sats, and we skirmished. Two thousand one hundred and thirty-eight sats from anonymous. Nineteen ninety-four sats from Circus Media. Ah, uh, hell yeah! This is, I got. Th there's a lot of a lot of these uh, boosts from this week. Sharky with two thousand. Delta OG. I barely know her. Thousand two hundred sats from Circus Media again. I love this song so much. Ooh, what, what? I'm very confused right now. But hey, I'll take some Satoshis. Net Ned with thousand two hundred sats. That song made me pregnant, and I don't even have ovaries. We got a booster gram from Chad F with two thousand eight hundred fifty sats. Thank you, everyone. Five thousand and two sats from Booberry. Given a salute. And then let's go look at Twitch. See if anybody has donated over Twitch. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you could help me out by giving me free money by subbing over on there. Uh, Dr. Sir McCrotch, 35 minutes ago, resub with Prime. They've been resub for 12 months. Uh, suck my donation. <laughs> we got Ad Freak followed me 14 days ago. Okay, that's, that's all. The, the donation segment is over, everybody. The donations were pretty good this week in Satoshis, but I don't know how to get them out of the Satoshi machine, nor how much that was even worth, or why I even got those. But thank you. And uh, to make up for the lack of... Uh, you know, stuff, I'm going to play some advertisements. Lack of donate. I'm going to play some... Yeah, I'm going to play some advertisements. And we'll be right back with... Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll go to court, finally. 
want to win your case, but don't know how. You are in too deep. You are screwed. We will find each jury member and give them a big package of dark sewer drugs. They will do anything you want. Order out service today. Only from the Dark Sewer Network. 1, come all, down to DSN's Finger Box Emporium. We're selling finger boxes this week only for $69.99. All finger boxes must go. Gold-plated finger boxes, mother line finger boxes, or pure marble finger boxes. All on sale this week only at the Dark Sewer Network Finger Box Emporium. Glitch. Acid pulse.
Alright, this place is uh, a little weird. Um, I think I have to go over here. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find my way through this uh, hallway here. Uh, okay, looks like I'm at the court. Before I go in, though, let me, let me crack open one more beer. All right, I guess let's uh, let's see what this is about here. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, please be seated. Good morning. Before we commence the proceedings today, I would like to take a few moments to address some important points that will guide us through this trial. As the presiding judge, it's my responsibility to ensure that this trial is conducted fairly, impartially, and in accordance with the law. Each of you as jurors have an important role to listen carefully to the evidence, to evaluate it objectively, and apply the law as instructed to reach a just verdict. Uh, d d judge, can you, can you even tell me why I'm here though? Like, I'm here, but I don't know why. Nick the Rat, the, the list of the complaints against you is ooh, very, very long. But before we get to that, let me allow myself to remind you of the solemn oath that everyone here has taken on the outset of this process. This oath signifies your commitment to render a verdict based solely on the evidence presented in this courtroom and as the law as I will provide it to you. Do you understand this, Nick the Rat? I know from... Uh, some of these here allegations that you might be slightly retarded. Oh, that's not, that's very rude to say that. Um, you really shouldn't be, <laughs> call okay. Look, judge, what did, I, what did I do? Okay, well. Let me, let me go through here. Well, right here it says that you were promoting marijuana substances to minors. I did not do that. I did not promote marijuana substances to minors. I, I promoted to everybody. Okay, okay, okay. Well, then, Nick the Rat. Well, I, did you fondle a feline in an alleyway yesterday? Of, uh, Yes. Why wouldn't I have done? Wait, is oh f okay. Look, uh, I might have just admitted to a crime. We're gonna um, let's let's take a quick let's listen to a voicemail. What do you mean? Let's listen to a voicemail. Nick the Rat, Mister the Rat, you're in court. You can't just you can't just listen to voicemail. Um, what are you talking about? I could. This is a this is America. Look, I I could do whatever the hell I want. This is America, Mr. Judge. Look, look. I can set off fireworks in the courthouse. Nobody cares. Aww. See, the jurors don't even care. They thought that was very cute of me, Mr. Dude Man. I don't even know your name, court person. <laughs> Let's listen to a voicemail. Hi, Nikki. This is all. What's the math again? I just want to back. Oh, no. I just don't know. I'm going to start promising. I just thought that maybe I could reach out to you and give you my help. I don't like that. You're in a time of need. Hold on. I got to puke.
hey, hey. Okay, look. Um, judge man, Mr. Judge, Mr. Judger, the, the Judgerino. It's look. Okay, I know I'm not a perfect person. I know I had some. I. Have, I know I'm not a per. Uh, look, I don't know what to say. I really don't even know what the crimes are. Still, we're still. I, I think I need some lawyers. I was all the. The only thing the dark sewer scientist sent me here today was, with um. With uh, this tape that says. Um, character builder on it. Uh, Mr. The Rat, I don't even know what that means, but we will play it for the jury, and we'll take it into in consideration. But I think you're going to be going to jail for a very long time. Um, okay. Well, let's just listen to the tape. My name is Zindu. I'm from Planet Oak Tar. Oh, fuck. I, I worked with uh, Nick the Rat for several years. Uh, underpaid, underappreciated. Uh, he's a, he, he murdered. He murdered somebody. He murdered my girlfriend, <laughs> Diane. He worked with her. He hired her. He tricked her into doing some black magic shit. She wound up in a bucket. Fucking dead. I mean, I'm supposed to be talking good things about Nick here. The scientist paid me money to give a little bit of character building for the, the jury, the court, the judge, whoever the fuck is listening. Uh, Nick the Rat, he's a. Uh, he's basically worthless. I don't even know. Like, what are you gonna get out of him? Like, five bucks? Have you seen his donations? <laughs> he gets, the guy puts in hours and hours and hours and hours a month and he gets like five bucks. Oh. In, uh, checks for 69 cents. From his doctor, too. It's fucking pathetic. Uh, let's see. He always has uh, beer, alcohol, or weed. So I guess that's a, that's a character that may, maybe he's fucking, maybe he went nuts and just murdered people. I don't. I don't even know what he's on. What are you on, uh, Nick? What are you? I, I know you can't talk to me. This is a taped recording. Can, no. Right? What are you, uh, in, what are you going to jail for? I'm not going to jail for nothing. What are you going to jail for? Is this, uh, uh, perhaps, perhaps maybe somebody slipped evidence to the state about all the illegal wrongdoings you've been doing? Is that possibly, possibly it, Nick? Because you've been doing some illegal shit with those scientists, but I'm not going to, I'm not, Audience I'm not, fuck. I'm going to take that. I'm gonna unnote that from the listing of notes because uh, you guys are still paying me, and I want that money. I don't want to get sued here. So, nah, nah, the dark sewer—it's—it's it's a beautiful place. Nobody's ever been murdered down there without <laughs> signing an NDA first. Uh, Nick, he fuck—he's a piece of shit. You know what? Send him to jail. I don't—I don't. I'm not even really getting paid that well for this. If the scientist wanted to take the money back from me, I'll, I'll give it back to him. I'd, I'd like to see the rat burn. He's, he's murdered, as I said, my girlfriend. He he smells like piss and shit. Uh, the state he lives in hates him. The, he hates the state he lives in, too. He, have you heard what he said about Kathy Hochul's oh God. mule-like teeth and her ghoulish appearance and what she probably... What her what her vagina probably smells like? You want to ask Nick that, Mr. <laughs> Judge Man? I don't think that... Uh, I don't think Nick really wants this on the record, but I'm going to say it anyway. And also the stuff that he said about Eric Adams being, oh my God, a quote unquote rat bastard. Because uh, I don't know why a rat would say that. That's like the, the worst thing a rat could say is that somebody's a rat bastard and he's being a rat. So this, this is like a double whammy for him. I think you should lock him up, send him to the slam or kill him. Cut off, castrate him. Castrate Nick the Rat. Make sure he never breathes again. <laughs> Chop his toes off. Put him, put his brain in a jar and study that shit. Because after all, you, you could probably fucking smoke his brain, his bones, and so out. There's got to be something inside of that little rat bastard that's keeping him alive all these years. That's uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I hope the the jury is ugly and Nick has to stare at ugly people all day. I hope the judge has bad breath and he's spitting in Nick's face. Uh, I hope uh, his, his lunch was bad. Nick, I hope your lunch was bad. I hope your legs <laughs> were like on the stand and you fall into a pile of blubbering 
blithering, blathering fucking bullshit like you just like you know just how you are every day after you came right out after you fell out of your mom's vagina onto this planet and went splat i i you know that's what i would like for you yeah basically uh I, you know yeah and, and you know nick don't worry the jury's probably all a bunch of idiots they're probably a bunch of slack jawed nincompoops that don't know shit about fucking <laughs> podcasting politics road in anyway, science so it doesn't matter all the shit you did that was illegal involved all that stuff and uh they're, they don't know anything they're a bunch of idiots i heard i heard you once say that jur- jur- to be on a jury you have to be the lowest scum of the earth you were saying bad things about the jurors and judges you were saying all these bad things you're like i can get off of anything i get off on a uh, fucking uh jill biden's titties because you were looking at you were, you were you were you were grooving on jill Biden, the president's fucking caretaker's titties you were you were fucking <laughs> on those titties. you should go to jail Nick the Rat. you should be locked up in solitude shiv several times by a couple of inmates and uh burn in hell <sighs> fuck you god bless america's in do out hell oak dar we're coming we're gonna murder you hope you're fourth of july i hope you blow up your dick on fourth of july Um, and uh, ladies and gentlemen of the court, after listening to that, I'd like to say I gotta I gotta fucking run. I gotta fuck. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go. Uh, we're gonna listen to some music. Right? We got the ultimate. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we got ultimate sanity. I'm gonna go. Keep 
been bad folks, safe telling lies since 1999. Order today from the dark sewer. Have you noticed that walking straight feels normal? Join the society. That climbing is hard? Join the society. And descending to be easy? Join the society. Stop denying your senses and start denying the quote unquote Science! Join the society. You can't listen to their science. Join the society. They want to make you believe you are living upside down on a curved surface. Join the society? They explain it away. By saying your eyeballs' lenses flip the image, creating the illusion you are on the right side up. Join the society. Stop believing their truths and start believing your guts. Join the society. For only 69. 99, you can join the society that you made for yourself. The Flat Earth Society. For only one low payment, you can join us. Join the society. Please call now. 917-719-5923. You too can join the society only on the Dark Sewer Network. Uh, hey everybody. Yeah, I had to get out of that kangaroo court. That was... That was weird. Um, the security... Well, do you know when you walk in... And there's usually like a, a security check. Yeah, th- basically I got uh, my my ca- I got cavity searched. No lube. I even had a jar of mayo with me. I offered to self lubricate before the cavity search began, and they denied me this. Uh, that's a, that's a basic human right right there. I know I'm not a human, but that's a human right. And they weren't they were treating me like a rat. So I think there was some. Some racism going on. The judge was definitely uh, racist against rats. I could tell. Um, The jury were all uh, rat racist. And they were all pointing at me and laugh. And they were laughing. And they were calling me names. They were calling me murderer. And they were calling me drug dealer. (laughs) They They were calling me these horrible things. I'm sorry to get out of there. Um, I think the judge might have called the police on me. So we're going to leave. But we have, we got some time. We, we could probably read some. Let's read some news here. Um, should I read about, read about Gargle? Gargle. Gargle's car, carbon footprint. Google's carbon footprint. Uh, the whole AI. The AI takeover is starting to destroy the earth. <coughs> Uh, uh, do you know when you do the Google search and it gives you that AI thing? So if you like do a search for, uh, uh, do a search for, you know, how to stop burping while podcasting uh, and farting, uh, 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 you'll get some AI answer sometimes if you enable it. I think you have to enable it. And instead of just giving you a link. To like an antacid or Pepto Bismo or some shit, 
It'll be like, um, uh, it'll be like, it'll be like, it'll be like, somebody, it'll be like a person was talking like, hey, maybe you're just a disgusting per. maybe you're just disgusting. And that, that cost a lot more power. It cost three times the amount of power to tell you that you're, you're a disgusting hunk of a blob of a rat instead of just like giving you a link to like an ass, ant, any anti-acid. It's, um... It's fucking stupid. Google estimates that its data centers accounted for 10% of the global data center electricity consumption in 2023. That's that's great. That's great. Um, let's read a different article here. La do boo boo. This one, uh, this was uh, one that upset me a little bit. Uh, I do like that they're busting, they're they're getting rid of all the gray market marijuana places, but just this. Let's listen to this one. There's a. They talk about how there's like a printing press in this place that they raided, and they were printing labels. It takes a lot more than just having a giant printer to print labels, and also the. I think this this kind of sounds overblown. There's also um, vape juice chemicals, and they don't tell you what the chemicals are, and it just sounds really it 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 this this kind of reporting annoys me. Let's let's listen to this report. Tonight, a huge bust in Brooklyn. Officials shutting down a large marijuana operation suspected of making and distributing products to thousands of illegal weed shops around New York City. So they're saying that they found a place that's selling. Oh yeah, okay. I remember. I remember. Yeah, okay. So this place wasn't a, a like a gray market weed shop. It was a place that supplied gray market weed shops. Two people are now under arrest, and there could be more arrests on the way. I would assume reporter Sonia Rincon has a story from Sheep's Head Bay. Behind the unmarked doors of this small storefront was what New York City Sheriff Anthony Miranda describes as a million dollar illegal weed operation, packaging the marijuana and edible candies using chemical flavors among other potential toxins. Chemical flavors, all right? Che chemical. Being mixed with concentrated THC. Everything that we say in present a certain danger to the children and to the health of the people who want to legally participate in the market is presented here at this location. Tonight, the sheriff-led task force, which now has the power to padlock illegal weed shops after inspections, is collecting a mountain of evidence, including 50 pounds of raw cannabis. Police arrested two people and found packaging items like these phony labels claiming the product is from California. If it were, it would already have them. The false labeling, the false packaging, those are... <laughs> Yeah, they were trying to get around New York state taxes. Chemical flavors. It could be it could be anything, but they just call it chemicals. We have additional felony charges that they'll be facing. Now it moves from a civil enforcement will issue the civil fines to the business and this will turn into a criminal investigation. This is the first illegal weed selling location in the city that the task force has raided that also has an elaborate printing press. It's not an elaborate it's just a giant printer. It's one printer. And what they're printing, I don't, maybe they're printing other stuff with this, but what it, what they are showing that they're printing is just like giant labels. Like, I don't know what they would even use these for, like for a box or something. I don't, I don't know. Cranking out all kinds of colorful labels for edibles. This violates every single rule that you can think of that has been constituted by the state office of cannabis management. Including the one that says cannabis products cannot have labels that appeal to kids. All this was going on right under the noses of neighbors on this residential block of Avenue T. They tell us the storefront had an awning that said pushing P on T, but that disappeared a few months ago. Pushing P on T, pushing pot on Avenue T? No, uh, I don't know after that what they are doing. Another neighbor suspects the wholesale operation wait, developed. Wait, what did this genius say right here? Hold on. It's a go. They shut down. Uh, I don't know after that what they are doing. Why would they? This that was a neighbor, Chris Wong. He said they shut down and he doesn't know anything. What? What? 
what's what's the point of how I who uh, on T, but that disappeared a few months ago. They shut down. Uh, I don't know after that what they are doing. Another neighbor suspects the wholesale operation developed after the store closed. Sheriff Miranda says shutting this place down will probably impact other illegal weed stores in the region that have been buying the items packaged here. Shops that have been getting shut down one by one thanks to complaints. Community complaints are extremely important. They're the first ones who observe these locations opening and when they're operating illegally. In she this one didn't have the whole chemical part. I remember I was watching one of the videos about this, and they were just and like... And our other developing story, ah, a crisis meeting at the White House tonight no, with more than... No crisis meetings at the White House. We're not going to listen to that. 917-719-5923. Um, this is Chris. This is Chris, the producer from Kemp Bot Hit Show. Uh, we're just calling to see if we can interview you sometime for our uh, podcast. Uh, if you can give us a call back at the Kempot Pit Show, uh, Kev will be waiting on you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I would love to be on the Kevbot show. Not fake Kevbot. Fake Kevbot does this to me. Fake Kevbot calls me and says stuff like this. Voicemail 10 of 50. And I wouldn't have to leave all these voicemails, sir, if the voicemail link was increased to 40 hours. And then this one. Voicemail 11 of 50. You may be wondering to yourself, is this Kev Bot? Well, yes, it is. And I've been smoking methamphetamine for 18 hours and 16 minutes straight. Sir. This is Kevin. Hey, man, you got to start doing that art for no, no agenda. You got to start doing that art again. Damn it. Shouldn't have tried to leave voicemails when I was looking for something. Ah! It doesn't matter. It's just Nick the Rat. Fucking motherfucker. He's snitching. It's snitching, Nick. Don't play these voicemails. Have we ever looked for something for 17 hours straight and realized that it was in your fucking hand the whole time? Anyhow, this is kept by. Voicemail 11. Well, let's see the time on here. Oh, wait, I still have two minutes left. Oh, oh man. Two minutes left? Fuck. Oh, that's, that's a lifetime. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's turn off that voicemail. Nick, where's it at, Nick? I'm turning it off. Turning off that voicemail. Um, so, some other things we should talk about. In 2024... There's going, there's, there's going to be Summer Olympics in Parrish. Uh, and there's going to, there, this is the first year that they'll be breakdancing as a competitive sport. I wonder which country is going to win at breakdancing in the Olympics. For some reason, I think Japan's going to win. I'll put. Can I put this in the prediction book that in 2024 Summer Olympics? Wait, there's going to be a 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. When does this start? I didn't even from the 26th of July to August. Wow, I didn't even know this was going on. Now I'm excited. I want to watch. I like. I like watching the Olympics. It's it's a uh, stupid. All right, so let's. This, this is from Mental Floss. 13 breakdancing terms you should know. You think Korea is going to win? I think it's going to be... I think it'll be Japan. It's probably going to be like an Asian population. Because they're just, they're just such good dancers. Those, they're such good dancers. All right, we got the first word. Breaking. Breaking is... Uh, the dance itself. So when you watch break dancing and they say they're breaking, that means that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Next term is B boy and B girl. That stands for boner boy and boner girl. No, it's uh, for a break a breaking boy or a breaking girl. These are the uh, the people that are dance. They are the break dancers. Now this one I didn't know. Cipher and cipher cat. 
Actually, I know what a cipher is because I smoke weed. Cypher is when you smoke weed in a circle. A cypher is a circle of breakdancers who take... Ter is cypher like a real word for like a, like a circle? Because I know... Uh, I know a cypher for weed smoking is... It's called a cypher. It's a, a code breaking. What is... Is there a different spelling of it? Hold on here. Let's see if there's anything about circles and ciphers. Is why do they call a, a, a weed smoking circle a cipher? Search. Oh, a zero. A figure. Okay, so it's a it's a zero. It's a circle. I get it. B boying, a cinnamon for breakdancing. A term for b boying is used in David Toop's 1984 book, The Rap Attack. B-boying was happening at the same time as the DJing and the rappings came out. Uh, bite in breakdancing, as in rap, biting is stealing. Okay, I knew bite as steal. This is like 1980s, 90s, like early 90s terms. Uh, freeze. Holding a pose. Pop. A continuous flexing of the muscles to the beat. When you pop it to the beat. A set. It's much, it's a, yeah, it's a fucking, what do you think a set is? Crashing. Things don't always go when you fall. It's called crashing. A throw down. Okay, this is stupid. And then finally call out. These are not words that nobody doesn't know. I, I knew all these words. And I'm not a break dancer. I just, I, wow. The Summer Olympics are coming, everybody. I'm actually kind of excited about that. I like, uh. I like the Summer Olympics. If you like the Summer Olympics, give me a call at 917-719-5923. Hey. Hey, Nick. Uh, sorry I called and interrupted the, the music, but, but, but that song, it, it just, the music compelled me. The music compelled me. I had to call because I felt compelled to call when I... Is compelled when uh, you're, um, like, if you jerk off on the floor and you come on it and then somebody, like, they try to step but they're pushed away from it? Is that compelling? When I heard such, such music that compelled me, um, yeah, not, not medical or professional advice, but you could totally bullshit your way into it. If you go to court, uh, wear a, a surgeon or doctor's smock. Yeah, the whole uh, the doctrinal uh, type, you know, attire. I wouldn't go as far as the stethoscope because they might ask you weird questions. And they wouldn't go through the metal detector. Not Not likely. But, yeah, if you are a smock or the doctor attire and just if you were asked or inquired about it, say it was professionally advised. If and when they ask or inquired and always, always, anytime and always tell them you are not intoxicated. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, wrong button. Do you remember that one time that one guy was like, the top water is turning the frogs gay? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> yeah, and then it wasn't turning them gay, it was just causing the male frogs to grow female reproductive organs. Uh, uh, they're they're banning bro bromine bicarbonate. It makes the it makes the juice gay. Um, let's take a quick musical break. We'll be right back. With more Nick the Rat Radio. We got Bigfoot beats with floating.
think um I think we could probably get, get out of court. I don't think we have to be here anymore. Um I'm I'm just very happy that's all over with. Uh looks like other, there's a lot of um I've been seeing a lot of this stuff, like mushrooms for sale. Like you get mushrooms, microdosing, or something. It's uh, lion's mane and musk, a coal, or so. so there's a whole. Is, there seems it looks like like that stuff that you would buy to get like a boner, like boner pills, like horny goat weed or, weed or um, Spanish fly that you'd get at like the the delis at the corner. Um, they seem to be going after them for some reason. They're like, oh, yeah, people are getting sick from eating it. It's, isn't that the whole point? I don't know. I don't. It's, if anybody ever eats these corner store mushrooms, let me know about it. I'm, I'm curious. I want to know more about it. Um, Delta 8 was just banned in Nebraska. It seems like they're going after Delta 8 also. The, uh, it's, yeah, it's... It's 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 uh it's it's weird times out there. The FDA is um, fighting for control. Perhaps is is uh that the the quiz that Hatterach does that have to do it with um with a uh, yeah. I'm drunk. Yeah, here's here's a report from the WHO. They report hundreds of thousands of annual deaths in Europe linked to ultra ultra processed foods. This seems to be a, a thing that they're going after. Also, ultra processed foods is responsible for about three hundred ninety one thousand deaths annually in Europe, according to a report from the WHO. Along with alcohol, fossil fuels, and tobacco, the WHO said that the four industries are responsible for more than two point seven million deaths per annum. Consistent evidence shows that higher exposures to ultra-processed foods is associated with in increased risk of 32 damaging. See, like, I, I'm sure ultra-processed food is not good for you, but the kind of person that's eating ultra-processed food is, uh, like, to the point where they're dying. They're probably not, they're probably not doing exercise. They're probably, uh, um, there's probably a whole bunch of other stuff going on. Food from the who? Yeah, is it even food anymore, or is it a, is it a product? They should they should be they should have to take the uh, the label food off of uh, ultra processed foods. They should call it just ultra processed material. They should they should uh, not be able to put the word food on their products. Maybe that'll help. Like, oh, you're eating a shoe. You fucking idiot! I, you know, it's it's easy. I, I eat ultra processed fo uh, foods a lot. I was raised on them, and it'll probably make me die early. Oh yeah, this is I want to talk about this. This is fucking. Here's a really fucked up article. Greece becomes the first EU country to introduce a six day work week. Six six day work week in Greece. If you work in, if you're a member of of Greece, I feel bad for you. Like what? Six day work week. That's like it's it's like oh man, thank God Friday is over. I could hang out and then if, if, say on Saturday you're like well, okay Saturday. T yesterday sucked and then tomorrow's gonna suck. That's that's the that's like a nightmare. A six-day work week is a nightmare. A five-day work week is pretty much a nightmare. It should be four. It should be four and three. Motherfuckers. There's really... There, there's some services where you need more work or just more people. You know, you have shorter work weeks, then you could have more employees. You could have more people working. You have a set of three coming in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then you can have a set of three coming in Thursday, Friday, Saturday, whatever, the f whatever. 
You figure it out. But oh my God, if I lived in Greece right now, say like you're working at a blockbuster in Greece and they're like, oh, you have to work six days a week. I'd set the, I'd set Greece on fire. I'd set Greece on fire. All right, we're going to get out of here, but uh, let's listen to some more music first. And then we'll, well, then we'll say goodbye after that. Let's listen to uh, Pokadima with Trist. I'm down with the chat room. They they want three day work weeks. That sounds good. Yeah, work three days, take four days off. You only live once, right? Like, what the fuck? Are we why are we wasting our life working? Work is <sighs> most of it's not like you, most of the time you don't have to do that much work. If you have to do a lot of work, you you probably get a lot more money. Like, if if. If you're just like, if you're not really working, then you shouldn't really be getting paid. I don't know. What you, it, hey. Hey. Work sucks, man. Money sucks. They really... When you think about money, it, it's just always just depressing. It's always depressing thinking about like money and where, where you're gonna live and the f the future, what you what you gotta do, making like big decisions, figuring stuff out. I hate it. But it be what it be. I gotta win the lottery. I gotta win it. I could. I can win. The, I could probably win the lottery. <laughs> it's just. It's rough out there, you know. I understand. There's a lot of people always complain, like, oh, you know, hey, you gotta do more shit. Like, yeah, you do gotta do more stuff, but. It's, 
law is coming, the law is coming, the law is coming. No matter where you hide, under the bed, out a window, in the shed, you cannot escape the law coming. What? Oh, sh. We're being, at, uh, driver. We're being followed. We're being followed by a, a lot of police right now. <laughs> keep, tri keep driving. Yeah, don't pull over. No, keep going. Oh, sh yeah, we could probably outrun these guys. You know what I could do? I could, I could shoot fireworks out at them. How about that? Take this, coppers. Take this one. Bam! Fuck you, police. Fuck the police and stuff, right? Is that... Nah, you know. Ah. Yeah, these cops are fast. Uh, do, do we have any more voicemail? 917-795-923. Uh, give me a call. This is the last chance to call me. I'm... I gotta get out of here. I gotta find a place to hide out. Voicemail 12 of 50. Methamphetamines is spelled M-E-T-H-A-M-F-I-N-T-N-E-S. Very good caller. Alright, whoa, holy shit. Okay, they're catching up. Um... I think we should. I think we should get out of here. I had a great night. I had a great Wednesday night with everybody. Fuck. Let me finish these these beers. So don't no don't pull over. Pull over. I'll, I'll fucking cry, dude. I can't go back to jail. Keep driving, man. If I drink this beer quicker, they won't be able to catch up. Time will slow down, right? Okay, here's one more tip before I go. I like the whole tip at the end. Um, if if you get if cops pull you over or do anything, just you know, just go with the flow. Don't resist. Don't don't tense up. Don't talk. Just bend over and take it. Okay. You know all these these uh, sovereign citizen type folk. It's, don't do what they do. Don't be, don't be a sovereign citizen. Just just li just follow the law. Just listen to the let the police say pull over. The pull over. Okay. Don't do what I'm doing. I'm being I'm being patriotic as fuck though. We'll take these fireworks. All right. I think we should probably get out of here now. Well, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna come back next week. We'll have more Nick the Rat, maybe from prison. Maybe I could do like a ghost prison special. You know, like this, there's, there's, there's ghosts in prisons, right? Fuck, all right, um. <sighs> Driver, keep going, don't pull over. We'll lose them sooner or later. Let's listen to uh, VCA. 089 with all guns blazing. We'll be back next week, everybody. Love you all. Happy fucking 4th of July. Don't lose your fingers. And good night, America. This is Nick the Rat Radio. Drive, you bad bambino. Wait, is somebody calling? Hello? Hello? Is there anybody on the phone? Yeah. Turn your radio down, Nick. I can't turn it down. Wait, I can turn it down. I can't. What up, dude? I am trying to get away from the police right now. I just got out of court. I guess they didn't like what I said. Hell yeah. How are you I doing, caller? I'm doing great. Get away, Nick. 
I'm, I'm not driving. I'm just in the back trying to drink all the beer before they catch up with us. <laughs> we're not really speeding right now. They, 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 we're just evading arrest. But if I finish all the beer, I think we'll be in the clear, right? Like if they pull us over, we just like, oh, it took you 10 minutes. Like, yeah, yeah, drink it. Drink it. Hurry up. I'm, tr I'm trying. Are, how are you celebrating? How are you going to celebrate the 4th of July? I'm not going to work. God bless America. Oh, man. Yeah. Isn't that great? It is. <laughs> it's stupid. So how much do you love America? On a scale from one to, oh, my God, I'm coming. Uh, let's say eight and a half and I'm still coming. Nice. Yeah, it's a pretty good country. I like the, this cunt tree. It's, um, I'd give it about an eight and a half, too. Can you say cunt again for me, Nick? Country? <coughs> Thank you. Oh. You're the best. Nah, you're the best, caller. Caller. Caller, what do you put on your hot dog? What do I put on my hoof? What do you put on your hot dog? Mayonnaise. That's right. That's right. This, this is this is great. Fuck, I gotta drink this beer. I can't hear you, Nick. You I'm gotta get away from the fucking police. I, I, I know I can't. Fuck. Do you want to? Do you want to tell America to have a good night? Have a good night, America. Yeah, fuck go. yeah. All right, we gotta get out of here. All right. Uh, good, good night, caller. Right, we got okay. Uh, we'll be back next week with Nick the Rat. Uh, I'm almost done with these beers. We'll be fuck. We'll be back. Uh, we got the song. Fuck. is strong with you. Baby, you're a yes! Let's make fireworks, baby.
Hey, hey, ho, ha, ho. <laughs> hula, 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 the bula, bula, bula. Look who's got the front seats of the Mexican hat dance now. Just like a bunch of spiders in a birthday cake. Don't kill animals. Rats have rice. Buy on veggies.